So, hi guys, I'm back with a video, who'd have thought it, um, so today I'm delving into something new on my channel which is bullet journaling, bullet journaling itself is not new to me though, I've been doing it for the last year and a half, I watch a lot of plan with me videos and I've always wanted to make one but never had the time or felt able to and now I'm just I'm trying to just make content that I want to make so this is my August plan with me so as you can see that's my title page it's inspired by something I found on Pinterest and um, it's kind of fairy lights, that sort of theme. As you can see, I just did my daily gratitude vlog, which is something I do on my title page of every month, and I fill it in with the things I'm grateful for and like the memories I've had that month. And I find it's quite nice to look back on and realise like the good bits of the month, especially the little small things that you forget. So now I'm doing my calendar, which I haven't done a calendar like this before in my bullet journal. Um, or if I did, I did it in my last one. And this particular layout was inspired by someone I've started watching recently who does Disney videos and she also does bullet journal videos and this is how she sets out her calendar. So. I'll put her link in the description so you can go look at her channel because her channels inspired me to start doing these videos. So now you can see me writing quote. I haven't actually incorporated quotes much this year and in my last one I did tend to put a quote per month. Now this quote goes with my yearly goal which I put right at the beginning of my bullet channel which was achieve. So the quote is from Harry Potter and it's We must all face a choice between what is right and what is easy and I feel that kind of goes with achievement because you've got to make choices to get to the achievements you want and just because something you want is hard it, you still have to go for it so that's, that's the quote I decided on them this month so now I'm doing my weekly spread. Um, so this has become a regular layout for me. I kind of want to change it up, but also it really does work for me. So I obviously put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at the top, Friday, Saturday, Sunday at the bottom. But obviously, because this month starts on a Wednesday, I've started it on the Wednesday um, to fill the extra space. I decided to do habit tracking again, which I haven't really done since last year. Um, the habit trackers are also inspired by someone I watch that does journal videos, and that's Shannon Royal. I forgot to mention the girl before whose calendar I was inspired by. It's called um, this girl called Holly, I think. Um, so yeah. And then I put a sleep tracker in the bottom because I really want to sort out my sleeping schedule so I felt like that was the best place to start. I tried to track this at the beginning of the year but it just went all over the place. So yeah. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to try move, uh, getting, putting more effort in and stuff like that. And hopefully my spreads will get better and better and I'm hoping to do more bullet journal content if you'd like to see a flip through of my year so far I'd be 
willing to do that, um, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.